We try to really focus on the stories of pioneering women from Oklahoma. So ladies um, who come from one background and then they aspire and they uh, reach goals in another area. Uh, one of the ladies that's featured in our Women of Journalism exhibit is Drusilla Dungy Houston. She was part of the uh, family, a legacy of uh, newspaper people, and they came to Oklahoma, her and her father and her, her family, her brothers, and they ran newspapers for the territory. And she was a, a well-educated woman. She wrote, she was a reporter, and she wrote one of the uh, very first books about actually African history. I am amazed by her story and what she accomplished again through her lifetime. And she is a remarkable woman, and I really, really uh, um, aspire to do as well as she did. Bessie Coleman, she was the first female international pilot, the first uh, Native American international pilot, and the first African American national pilot, <laughs> international pilot. Um, and the whole reason why she was an international pilot is that nobody in the United States would teach her. She had to go to France to learn. And uh, when she got back here, they, she very quickly found out that nobody would hire her. So that's a clear example of, a, of a, a woman that didn't take no for an answer and opened a door that, you know, that was not closed behind her, you know. Pioneer women is, uh, you know, they were supposed to raise the children, they were supposed to make the food, they were supposed to do the laundry, but Chances are they also were fixing the house, they were uh, tending the livestock, they were harvesting the, the crops. Uh, in many cases, they were on their own too. Many women that participated in the land run of 1893, um, they did it for themselves, um, which is remarkable because just a few years earlier, they couldn't even own property. So it, to me, it's, it's just a remarkable story.